Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading this story called I Am Perfectly Designed by Karamo Brown. I am perfectly designed. First there was you, Dad. And then there was me. Now there is us. And Dad said, that's right, now there is us. When you first saw me, you said, he is perfectly designed from his head to his toes. And his dad says, and I meant that. Every word still do. When I was a baby, I looked just like you. Only I had no hair and you had lots. Now it's the opposite. And his dad says, so true. The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while you walked me all over the city. Remember that? I had such a big baby head. His dad says, indeed, but your big baby head was perfectly designed just for you. When I was real little, I thought, you could touch the moon. Remember that? We'd sit on the roof and reach for it. His dad says, one day you'll be big enough to reach it yourself. And until then, it's perfectly fine to ask for help. Remember when we went as syrup and waffles for Halloween, Dad? Huh, I do, I do. That was awesome. I wonder what will be this year. When I run in the park, jump in the park, climb trees in the park, and pretend I am a statue in the park, you remind me I am perfectly designed to explore the world. And his dad says, you are and you always will be. It looks like they're watching the stars, having a picnic. Sometimes, Dad, when I get mad or sad or confused, you wrap me in your arms. I like that. And his dad says, me too, and I remind you that you are perfectly designed and wonderful no matter what you're feeling. Dad, when I grow up and leave home, will you miss me? Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? And his dad says, you know I will. Will you sit on the fire escape and feed the pigeons like we do in the summer? His dad says, the pigeons and the sparrows. Will you remember our favorite movie moves? You, I will, and I'll invent some new ones too. Dad, will you always think of me? Always. You know what, Dad? What? I will always remember walking through the city and sitting on your shoulders, and maybe when you're older and I'm taller. I can carry you on mine because you are perfectly designed for each other. That's right, he says. The end.